Welcome everyone. And here we are again with another Espinosa favorite, the Murcielago. And Murcielago translates to bat in Spanish, which explains this pretty awesome band. Also, speaking of the band, this is a reissue. Back in 2009, Eric Espinoza released a Murcielago that had a red and black band. That was when he was working with the My Father Factory. When he parted ways with the My Father Factory, he lost that blend. Fast forward a few years and Eric Espinoza gets the blend back together and he starts working with the AJ Fernandez Factory in order to get some more aged tobacco into this cigar. So, speaking of the cigar and the aged tobacco, this is a Mexican San Andreas wrapped cigar. It's got Nicaraguan binders and fillers on the inside. That's kind of what the bunch looks like. Feels nice and firm. The pack is good, like I said. There, there are visible veins and there are visible seams. The end cap, the triple cap with this small pinch at the top, maybe small pigtail. This is the six and a half by 46. I get a, a maybe like a barnyard or hay on there and a, a sweet hay, a sweet hay and cocoa on the foot. So I got this specific cigar from the online provider shop. I got it for $6.95 for the single stick, or you can get 20 for $134.95. I think it's, I think we know enough about this cigar at this point. I think I'm gonna cut it and then we'll light it. So let's see what we got. As far as the cut goes, get a nice, Right, got a nice cut on there. Let's see what the cold draw is. Nice, reasonable cold draw. Not snug in any way. I'm just getting a hay note on the pool there. All right, and today I'm gonna to be pairing my standard with this cigar. And also wanted to mention that this cigar did get a very respectable 93 rating from Cigar Aficionado. All right, so we're kicking off this first third and I get um, I get a decent amount of nuttiness. There's, there's also plenty of spicy red pepper in there and also a nice leather note, maybe a cocoa that's building, but it's, it's real mellow right now. On the retro hail, I'm getting black pepper. So that's what the first third looks like. I will be back in that second third to tell you how it developed. All right, so into the second third, I'm still getting a decent amount of that spicy red pepper and it literally on the tongue almost feels like a hot sauce. I'm also getting a great roasted coffee note. That nuttiness is still there. The cocoa, leather, and a slight wood note. On the retro, it's still that spicy red pepper. This is definitely a full profile cigar, full strength, body, and bold flavor notes. Band is actually thicker than, than like most cigar bands. It doesn't impact the taste or flavor at all, but Eric Espinosa spending that money on these bands for us. I'll be back with that final third and my final thoughts on the cigar overall. Right, the band is off and we're here in the final third. I didn't think it would, but that spicy red pepper note did actually mellow out a decent amount. 
the roasted coffee and the nuttiness actually came out a little bit more with that cocoa and leather kind of rounding out the flavor notes here. That retro mellowed out, I'm getting more of a, a creamy wood note. And to me, it's, it's nice that that transition happened from a balanced perspective. I think on the front end of the cigar, the spicy red pepper was a little bit heavy and now it's it's actually a lot more balanced so overall i think this is a really really pleasant cigar it's a very nice smoke i think it's definitely worth a five pack put them in the humidor have them to bring them into the rotation every now and then i think this cigar would be perfect in that way i'm maybe 50 minutes in right now so it'll probably be an hour and 15 minutes before i finish this so based on the laraña and based on this murcielago bring that espinosa farm road pack on and that's that's all I have to say today. As always, thanks for watching. I appreciate the views and have a good one.